Hello students, now in this video we have to start the Euler's Phi function. Now, what does this? An Euler's Phi function is a function is a function phi from set of positive integer to set of positive integer defined as defined as phi of m equal to number of positive integers number of positive integers less than or equal to less than or equal to m that are relatively prime to m relatively prime to m so now let me take example suppose i am taking phi of 1 now number of positive integers all integers less equal m we have to find first so one if one is there then the only one integer which is less than or equal to m is 1 and that is relatively prime with 1. So, the phi of 1 is what? 1. Now, phi of 2. The integers less equal to are 1 and 2. And the GCD of 2 and 1 is what? 1. GCD of 2 and 2 is what? 2. So, it is only one element is which is relatively prime here. So, phi of 2 is 1. Now, phi of 3. What about phi of 3? The elements less equal 3 are 1, 2 and 3. So, that are, so what is the GCD of 3 and 1 is 1. GCD of 3 and 2 is also what? 1. 3 and 3 is what? 3. So, two elements are here which are relatively prime with 3. So, phi of 3 is 2. Similarly, you can obtain other. Phi of 4 is 2. Phi of 5 is what? This is 4. Again, phi of 6 is nothing but 2. You can check on your own. Phi of 7 is 6. Phi of 8 is 4, 5 of 9 is 6 and 5 of 10 is nothing but 4. Now, always it is not possible to determine them as such as I have given. Now, these one I have determined as such but now here it is not always possible. So, let us see some remarks to make it simple. So, the first remark if P is a prime, if P is a prime, then phi of p is nothing but p minus 1. Now you can observe here 2 is a prime so it is nothing but 2 minus 1. 3 is a prime so it is 3 minus 1. 4 is not a prime. 5 is a prime so it is 5 minus 1. These are equivalent. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 5 minus 1 is what? 4. Again 7 is a prime so it is nothing but 7 minus 1. It is what? 6. Fine. So these are, this is one remark you can remember. Now the second remark, if two integers m1 and m2 are relatively prime, then the phi function of their product m1 into m2 is nothing but phi of first into phi of second. As such we can determine them. Now let us see one more remark that is the third remark for the other type of integer that are sometimes we need the uh, we have the canonical form of them. So third remark if m is greater than 1 then canonical form is canonical form is what is the canonical form m is equal to p1 raised to alpha 1 p2 raised to alpha 2 and so on up to pr raised to alpha r. Therefore, or where, where obviously these pi's, p1, p2, so on up to what, pr, are distinct primes, are obviously distinct primes. If this is the case, then, then, this phi of m, what is phi of m? Phi of m is m into 1 minus 1 upon p1, 1 minus 1 upon p2, and so on up to 1 minus 1 upon pr. This is a 
result to obtain the value of Euler's phi function here. Now, let us see some examples on them so that it is very clear to you. So, example, suppose the first one, let us find out phi of 15. Now, 15 can be written as 3 multiplied by phi u and the GCD of 3 and phi u is what? 1. Therefore, we can use the second remark here, phi of 15, therefore, phi of 15 is equal to, I can write phi of 3 multiplied by phi of 5. Now, we have the values of them, phi of 3 is 2 or use the first remark here as it is a prime and here it is what 4. So, the answer is what 8, phi of 15 is 8. Now, let us go for next, phi of 75, suppose obtain phi of 75. Now, here this can be written as 25 multiplied by what 3 and clearly 25 and 3 are relatively prime so we can apply the second remark so it is phi of 25 multiplied by phi of 3 now 3 is a prime but 25 is not a prime so here it can be written as phi u square so phi of 3 as it is now phi u square is here so let us apply this third remark so it will be p1 raised to alpha 1 so m into 1 minus 1 upon p1 so what is m m will be 25 so 25 into 1 minus 1 upon p1 p1 is what here 5 into 5 of 3 with us it is what 2 so now this simplification is what 25 into 4 upon 5 1 minus 1 upon 5 is 4 upon 5 into 2 so this is 5 so how much is this this is what 40 as such now let me take some more examples now the next example is that phi of 100 phi of 100 let we have to obtain it so let us obtain first of all the canonical form of it so it is 2 into 50 so 2 into 2 into 25 so it can be written as 2 square into phi u square Therefore, phi of 100 equal to phi of 2 square into phi u square. So, apply the third remark that is what 100 as it is, m as it is, multiply by 1 minus 1 upon the first prime number and 1 minus 1 upon the next prime number. So, it will be 100 multiply by 1 minus half will be half. And 1 minus 1 by 5 will be 4 by 5. So, simplification of this, if this is 10, so the answer will be 40. Now, similarly, let us obtain phi of 1000. What about phi of 1000? Let us see here, phi of 1000. So, first of all, let us obtain the simple canonical form of 1000. So, it is 2 into 500. So, it is 2 into 2 into 250 so again 2 into 2 into 2 into what 125 so it is 2 cube into 5 cube therefore phi of 1000 is same as phi of 2 cube into 5 cube so this is nothing but 1000 into 1 upon 1 by 2 into 1 upon 1 by 5 so this is what 1000 multiplied by 1 by 2 into 4 by 5. So, this answer will be what? 400. Now, again let us see some other examples for this one. Phi of, phi of 1225 suppose. So, let us obtain the canonical form of it first. So, it will be phi u into 2425. Sorry, 245. So, again, 5 into, again it is divisible by 5 into, this will be get 49. So, now again, this is 5 square into what? 7 square. And 5 square into 7 square means it is what? 35 square also. As such also we can determine. Now, therefore, 5 of 1225 is what? 1225 multiplied by 1 minus 1 by 5 into 1 minus 1 by 7. So, it will be 1225 multiplied by what? 4 by 5 multiplied by this is what? 6 by 7. 
Now this is 35. It will be 1225 multiplied by 4 into 6 upon 5 into 7. 5 into 7 so that will be 35. Now they have 1 of the 35 get cancelled as it is the square of 35. So 35 into 4 into 6. So the answer will be 840. Now let me take one more so that it will be very easy for you. Now the next one. Sixth one, suppose 5 of 2448 we have to find. Such a big numbers are there that time our usual method of definition is not, it doesn't work. So now as 2448, let us find its canonical form. It is 2 into 1224. Again 2 into 2 into what? 612. Again 2 into 2 into... 2 into what? 306. So this is again 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into what? 153. Again, this is 2 raised to 4 into 153 is what? 3. It is divisible by what? 3. 6, 9. It's divisible by 3 so it will be as such. And that is again 2 raised to 4 into it is 3 square into 51 can be written as 17 into 3. So, it will be as such. Fine. Therefore, phi of 2448 will become phi of 2 raised to 4, 3 square into 17. So, that is 2448 into 1 minus 1 upon 2, 1 minus 1 upon 3 and 1 minus 1 upon 17 okay so this is 2448 multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 multiplied by 16 by 17 so here by simplifying we get 768 as such we can determine the Euler's phi function for various integers now let us see one some one more other type of example that find find all integers find all integers x between between 1 to 100 satisfying satisfying x congruence to 7 modulo 17 x congruent to 7 modulo 17 so now we have to determine such a x i is here which satisfies this congruence fine so solution of this suppose x b such a integer x b such a integer between 1 and 100. Such an integer between 1 to 100. We should say 1 to 100. These are inclusive here. Such that x congruence to 7 modulo 17. Means, the, means what? By definition of congruence, 17 divides x minus 7. Fine. That is same as x minus 7 is equal to 17 into K, where k is an integer. So this is what x is equal to 7 plus 17k where k is an integer. Now let me put up the various values of k here. Now if k is equal to 0 we get x is equal to what? 7. k is equal to 1 then we get x is equal to 7 plus 17 into 1 so that will be 24. Now k is equal to 2 we get x is equal to 34 plus 7. So that is 41. k is equal to 3. Then we get this is 51 plus 7. So x is equal to 58. k is equal to 4. Then x is equal to how much? It will be 75. k is equal to 4 is here. k is equal to 5. Then x is equal to what? 92 we get 85 plus 7 so that will be 92 now if we go further 
k is equal to 6 then x is equal to it is 102 plus 7 so it is 109 but we don't take this is not required to us this one we have to take as we have to find x between what 1 to 100 so here I should write the answer thus thus 7 24 41 58 75 92 are the are the only integers between are the only integers between 1 to 100 satisfying satisfying x congruence to what 7 modulo 70 this is the answer here now let us see one definition of residue classes Residue classes. What are these? Let m greater than 0 be fixed integer, be fixed integer, and let and let a belongs to z, then then residue class of a residue class of a is the set residue class of a is the set of those integers is the set of those integers integers b such that a congruence to b modulo m the same type of example just we have solved m be any fixed integer and a be any integer then residue class of a is the set of those integers of b that are a congruence to b modulo m fine and it's the same b as we have found here now now we denote it as we denote it as a bar or as such the square bracket a okay now what are they that is this a bar or the square bracket means what the residue class of a is nothing but such a b in z such a that what a congruence to b modulo m this is our answer here or that is same as b in z such that b congruence to a modulo m as a congruence to b modulo m b also congruence to a modulo m so that is same as a plus m times k where k is what n set of integer this is a solution here now let me take a small example here for for m equal to for you suppose now then then what is 0 bar here? This is nothing but 0 plus 5 k. Where k belongs to what set of integer. So which elements are here? Let us put a various values of 0. So we get 0 plus minus 5 plus minus 10 and so on. This is what the residue class of A where modulo 5 is there. Again what is residue class of 1 is here? It is 1 plus 5 k where k is in set of integer so this is what these are not thing but the elements minus 14 then minus 9 minus 4 1 6 11 16 and so on a difference between them is what five such elements will be there fine this is about the residue classes now here we will stop next video we will see some theorems on these one okay thank you